Hello everyone, I'm Bodine Victoria. Welcome to my kitchen and this is my pot. Today I have an amazing recipe for you, one that is going to bring you comfort and if you're like me, a whole lot of joy. But before we get started, I just want to remind you that today's recipe is brought to you by Showman E Bistro, your friendly neighborhood meal kit. Enjoy all of the flavor, none of the fuss with the Showman E Bistro Build Your Own Meal Kit. You can choose from an extensive menu of a la carte options, including your appetizers, salads, sides, entrees with vegan and vegetarian options all at your fingertips at showmanebistro.com. Plus, you can choose the wine that fits your flavor profile. Of course, we want you to go to showmanebistro.com to place your order and you can select pickup or delivery from our new office. Get your meal your way with your meal kit Bahamas Showman e Bistro. Today, we're making pumpkin and grits. Pumpkin and grits is something that in my family is not necessarily sacred, but we like it. And we like it because it's a departure from the regular grits dishes. So we're gonna take some pumpkin, we're gonna saute it down in some butter. And if you want to, you can actually take a bit of bacon, but I'm gonna just have the taste of the pumpkin in this one. And I'll show you how to bring out all the flavors, make a creamy grits dish that you and your family are gonna love. So now, let's get this recipe started. If you know anything about me, you know I have a lot of pumpkin recipes here on this year channel. So we're going to start with making the base for a good pumpkin dish with one tablespoon of butter because butter and pumpkin is everything. Now we're going to add two slices of diced bacon and that is going to give us a lot of flavor and all of the fat that we're going to need for this pumpkin dish. At least uh, all of the oil, I guess. From here, we're going to take half a cup of diced onions. I love caramelized onions and pumpkin. Really and truly, you'll see that with just about every video, we want to release the flavor of the onions because onions honestly are not only an aromatic, but they add just so much complexity to a dish. We're also going to add a half a tablespoon of dill seed. This is not mandatory. You can use any spices that you like. You can make this a more savory, um, a more sweet, or a more spicy pumpkin dish, but I'm going for kind of a kind of a spicy one. Now, this is two cups of diced pumpkin. I'm gonna call it cubed pumpkins. Now, I boo-booed here. What I should have done is I should have pureed this pumpkin, but we're gonna allow it to break down in our onions, our bacon, and our butter, along with our dill seed. I've added two cups of chicken stock. You can use regular water if you want it to just taste like what you've added already. And we're going to add two cups of coconut milk, and we can bring this to a boil. The importance of doing this step by step this way is that you build on the flavor. So believe it or not, this is still gonna have a complexity. And when this comes to a rolling boil, after you put in your bay leaf, you also want to taste it and see how much more salt you wanna add because we have not added a whole lot of salt. And now here's what I'm gonna have to do because I didn't puree this pumpkin that I had in the freezer um, to save it. I'm gonna have to take my mashed potato masher and I have to mash this pumpkin in here. Now, please guys, please mash your, your pumpkin ahead of time. Don't do this, but if you are going to do this, please be very careful because this does have the possibility of kind of plopping up in your face by accident. So you want to be extremely careful um, hold your pot down the way that I am doing it. I, I say puree first. So I'm gonna remove this pumpkin off of my potato masher carefully with my spoon. And now it's time for us to get to the grits portion. See, look at this. You want some big chunks of pumpkin and you want some other little chunks of pumpkin because you want this to have some texture. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people don't soak their grits and this is why they get either runny grits or they get hard grits. And my daddy likes hard grits, but there's a way to make a firm grits without making it hard. So I'm gonna add one and a half cups to two cups of grits, yellow grits. If you wanna use white grits, that's fine, but yellow grits is where, it, where it's at. 
and if you notice I stirred as I added it this is what raw grits looks like okay it is very opaque it's very small and then we're going to add two cups of water and we're going to allow this to come to a boil and then we're going to reduce it to a simmer we're also going to put one tablespoon of thyme and this is where you can also adjust your spices and seasonings so you can see that this is coming to a simmer here if you want it to soak a little bit more you're going to reduce the heat this is what half soaked grits looks like it's still kind of runny it'll run right off of your spoon so you're going to let it soak for about 10 minutes now we get in somewhere it is moving it the grits are less opaque but it still ain't quite there yet so this got about five ten more minutes to go and and now I want you all to see just how creamy and delicious this is. Notice how well the grits kind of coats the spoon. We're going to turn the stove off here and we're going to let this soak for the next five minutes. Yes, that's what we want. It's almost perfect. Five more minutes and then we could serve our pumpkin and grits, y'all. And now we have a flavorful Bahamian grits. Pumpkin. Then you have your little bit of coconut milk to add the sweetness to the pumpkin. Those caramelized onions go a very long way. And that little bit of chicken broth or whatever kind of broth you want to use to be honest with you is going to take the flavor profile of that drink all up like 500,000 knots because you know here in the Bahamas, flavor means flavor. I hope that you enjoyed this recipe and if you're looking for a few more, you can check out the Bodine Pot playlist which is brought to you exclusively by Showman E-Bistro. Don't forget that you can shop Showman E-Bistro for your build your own meal kit or for the standard meal kit where each and every single week they take you to a different place all around the world using your taste buds as your guide. And the recipes are easy to follow and are put up on the website every single week for you and your family. Very easy, very step by step. Just like the Bodine Pacho. And I hope that you enjoyed this recipe. If you did, please leave me a comment and share with somebody that is going to be interested in learning how to cook some Bahamian food. I wanna say thank you guys so much for all that you are doing, for asking questions, for interacting, um, for giving me some positive feedback, for letting me know what I did wrong with some of my other recipes and for doing it respectfully. If you are just having a great time here and you wanna know when I upload, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. I've been a little bit slow on the Instagram page because it's been a bit busy, but I can do better, I promise, I promise. So please check us out at Bohemian Pod Show on Instagram and Facebook when you get a moment. And of course, now that it's time for us to enjoy our, you know, pumpkin and grits, just remember when you cook good, good, don't let any and everybody dig up in your pot.